Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. So let's talk about the divine masculine's energy first, okay? They're feeling really angry with themselves, ain't possibly even angry with you. This person, I feel like they're doing all that they can to kind of stay in control of the situation, but they know that they're losing. They're, they're just losing. They're losing the one that they want. They're losing their wish fulfillment. They're upset because they're losing control. They have no more control over you. I feel like in the past, this person was um, very controlling, very much, they just feel like narcissistic energy, okay? Especially um, with this toxic devil energy about them. They, they may be, I, I, I'm getting the sense that they're kind of taking it out on everybody around them. So they're kind of being a bear right now to everybody. Um, this masculine's walking around angry. Um... You know, they don't want to let go of their ego, okay? They want to keep their ego intact. They want, it's almost like they want you to fall to pieces for them. They want you to come chasing after them. Or um, they want to hold out for as long as they possibly can until you cave or something like that. But this isn't, it's not a game to you, okay? It never was. I feel like this person broke your heart. And I feel like you're looking back on things, Divine Feminine, um, maybe even tearful still. But these are the last tears you're going to shed because you're, um, you're the one who's in control of the situation because you're the one who's in control of your own decisions here. And you're making a conscious decision to leave this person behind because honestly, they're just playing a game of control that you are not going to entertain. All right. Um, and so this masculine, they're kind of losing their mind over here. Um, they're really, they're lashing out at everybody. Fits of anger. They can't control their anger. They can't control their thoughts. They have no control over you. They don't have any control over the situation. They're realizing that now. Their ego is slipping and they're fighting to keep it. Okay. Okay. They're fighting to hang on to some kind of control, and they don't have any. Um, it's, it's like fits of rage, okay? They're fighting with other people, starting arguments. Um, they've got a real short fuse right now. And it's all because this soulmate connection is going down. Another thing that I'm seeing is um, they may have a lot of waves of emotion that come and go. Okay, a one minute they're angry, the next minute they're crying, and then the next minute they're taking it out on somebody else. Um, they're losing it, okay? Uh, and I feel like once they, they, they've, they're realizing they're losing control, once they realize they've lost all control, I feel like that's when it's game over for this person. Uh, if people around them are having a hard time, like people don't kind of want to be around this person right now. Um, but like anything, anything anybody does is setting this person off. Okay. And it's, it's all the emotion behind losing you and not having control over you. Okay. You're in the strong energy, divine feminine. You, you're taking your energy back. You're taking control of your life. Um, you're making a decision for yourself, even though it, it, it um, may hurt you. Okay. You're looking back on old memories. You may be, um, I'm actually seeing somebody going through a box of photos and tearing up the photos and throwing the photos away or burning the photos, something like that. Um, you could be saying a, like a, a prayer for this person, you know, um, something like look after them for me or something like that because you really are moving on. I feel like you just want to live again. You're in a time right now where you should be celebrating, not crying and hurting over somebody else who's just being controlling, okay? And I feel like you know that. 
you may be getting some wish fulfillment. You may have gotten um, some big accomplishment. Okay, um, you could have some kind of stardom or popularity or even fame. Like I could be talking to a star out here, <laughs> you know, hi. Um, anyway, yeah, you, you could be in the public eye. You could have your own platform. I feel like you've made some kind of, um, reached some kind of major goal, a huge accomplishment. And whatever work you've put in, it's paid off. Divine Feminine, you're also extremely intuitive here. I see you um, being a public speaker, a healer, a teacher, um, a leader, okay, in your field. Uh, like, this is big. It, whatever this is, it's wish fulfillment for you, and it's huge. And I feel like... I feel like maybe on the outside... You're trying really hard to celebrate. You know, this is a tough one for me to articulate. We've been in isolation, Divine Feminine. I feel like you've been isolated um, for such a long time. Some of you may not even know how to celebrate anymore. Does that make sense? I feel like um, you've been in service for other people. You've been working really hard. Uh, your life has become about using your intuition and receiving messages and guidance and helping to guide other people. I feel like uh, most of your focus has gone into healing, okay? Healing yourself and helping to heal others. And even though you feel empowered, you know that you're reaching like, you're doing miraculous things out here, okay? You're doing miraculous, wonderful things. I'm hearing um, that's Lord Carnarvon when he opened King Tut's tomb. He said wonderful things. Um, but yeah, that's what you're doing out here. Wonderful things. But deep down inside, and I feel like when you're alone, you may think back on all of this um, and still shed a tear for this person, okay? I feel like you still do hurt. I made somebody cry just now. I'm so sorry. I'm feeling it. Whew, I made somebody cry. I'm really sorry, Divine Feminine. I did not mean to do that. Because right now you're really, um, you want to keep that feeling of strength, okay? You want to hang on to that. You know that um, it'll see you through, you know? A part of you needs to celebrate. A part of you wants to celebrate. I kind of get the sense that you're kind of standing there like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know, you know. <laughs> I feel like you're, you're really just, you're celebrating maybe on your own with the divine because the divine has been the one, the only ones who've truly been there for you, okay? So, you know, for me, I take the divine out on dates. And that's something that you could be doing, is celebrating on your own with your spirit team, your spirit guides, your ancestors, Jesus, God, angels, archangels, the universe. Um, however you, you know, however it resonates with you. So you could be holding some kind of, um, it almost feels like a combination of you being thankful and grateful and still holding some kind of like... Um, goodbye prayer or something for this person that you're letting go of. You were really hoping that they would somehow come to some kind of change and drop this toxic attitude. It's really just an attitude. You know, um, this could be somebody who, who acts like they're larger than life because they believe they're larger than life. Okay? Um, they act out of their ego, so they're kind of like brutish, you know what I mean? A bit pushy, controlling, kind of harsh. Um, they could be very like disciplined, you know, or um, they, could, they may have a tendency to rule with an iron fist. It's their way or the highway kind of thing with the emperor. And this particular person, man... Um, 
I feel like it's very hard for you to be with someone like this because your energies kind of clash. You know, you're very loving, nurturing, healing, giving, caring, <laughs> you know. Um, I feel like you sacrifice for other people. You're a leader, a guide for others. You've got this beautiful light about you. You're very peaceful. You're very calm. And here this person is, I, I feel like they have the ability or did in the past to walk all over you. Okay? I feel like you gave and gave and gave and they took and took and took. They maybe even saw your beautiful energy as a weakness and not a strength. But you're proving to this person that you are, you are the strength here. You're the strongest link. You know, their ego really is getting the best of them here. Their ego and the way they've treated you and possibly other people, um, it's backfired on them. They're, they're actually working their way into, into like having their back against the wall um, between a rock and a hard place. Because, see, this person, you know, they wouldn't be so angry and they wouldn't be so upset over this, this connection coming to an end if they didn't actually care about you, you know? I am feeling that narcissistic energy off of this person, though. But, I, you know, I feel like it's more than that. It's more than them just wanting to control you. They really do want you, but maybe this is the only way they know how to go about it, right? This is the only way that they're, they've ever known. You know, you treat, the, you treat the feminine like crap, and you get your way, and it keeps them locked in. Or, you know, maybe this person was hoping you would be somewhat dependent on them for some reason. I don't know. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like that was just how they always thought it should be. And now they're really upset because they, you know, they've put themselves on a pedestal. But you don't see them that way anymore. And um, you're not giving in and you're not playing games. And this person really did hurt you. I mean, they're really not even thinking clearly, okay? I don't know that they ever did. But you are. You know, and I feel like a lot of times, for me, it's just the ability to see things at its very basic, simplest form. You know, people have a tendency to elaborate on things and make it more dramatic than it has to be and want that control. And you know what? All those, all those things need to be pushed out the window. Sometimes you just need to look at something from its most basic, simplest form okay and I feel like that's what you're doing you didn't get the attention that you that you require you didn't get this the treatment um, that you need right this person they they really mistreated you and mishandled you and they abused their power you didn't I feel like you're looking at this through very innocent eyes you know seeing things from the proper perspective. Um, and it's really just common sense. When you think about it, it's common sense. If somebody's treating you this way, what choice do you have but to move forward? What choice do you have? Do you want to sit and cry those tears forever? Or do you want to go and live a life of celebration and wish fulfillment? You know, um... And nobody is put on this earth to be mistreated by anybody else. I feel like this person thought they were better than you. They may think they're better than you still. And um, they thought they could control you. And they thought that that's what a relationship should be. And that this is how it should be done. You know, there's no common sense to that. You know, but you're seeing things from a common sense point of view. 
and it doesn't make sense for you to be waiting for someone um, to treat you the right way, okay? I feel like you have all this wish fulfillment coming. You're doing something that you absolutely love here too, whatever this is. You know, and you're about to have this new beginning. And I feel like this could be a lump sum of money coming to you as well. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune now is turning in your favor. The universe is saying that this is a cycle that's closing out. But they also recognize that you are accepting here and then getting your power back. Accepting, saying goodbye, releasing and then getting energized for all this new stuff. So the universe is, okay, the, the wheel starts turning, click, 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 right? It starts opening up new opportunities for you. And that's what's happening here. Meanwhile, your person, they're just absolutely obsessed with regaining control of the situation. And they, they can't control you because you're already... Um, releasing them okay what did I say about new opportunities coming in that's this with the seven of cups you know I feel like you know the universe has seen everything the divine has been with you you're you're kind of um, glued to the divine here with the star energy this light worker energy so the universe recognizes you're ready for this wheel of fortune to turn in your favor, baby. And that's what's happening. You may start experiencing um, people coming out of the woodwork, right? Wanting to date you. People um, staring at you, okay? Uh, people are recognizing your energy. They are. You walk into a room, Divine Feminine, I, I feel like everybody is just watching you. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Have you noticed that? I, because, it's because you, you shine brighter than, than a lot of other people, okay? As a light worker, um, people can feel your energy, the energy that you carry. Okay, they're attracted to that. You're different from other people. You have a different style. You may be um, becoming very bold with your style these days. And everybody is starting to take notice of you. Seriously, pay attention. The next time you go somewhere, Divine Feminine, I'm telling you, people are going to be wanting to be close to you. It, it and it honestly it annoys me because like I don't like anybody parking next to my car. I don't like people like getting too close. You know what I mean? Um, and I I swear I can't go anywhere without. You know, I can park a mile away from someplace and somebody will find a way to park next to me, or I'll walk into the grocery store and everybody seems to like come into my aisle. You know what I mean? And kind of linger around me. Or the oh my gosh, the produce section. What the heck is up with that? It's like, it's like going to the club these days. You know, you go in there and everybody's just like sniffing vegetables and staring. Okay? <laughs> For real. I just kind of keep my head down, you know? <laughs> I keep my head down. I grab my lettuce and I leave the, I leave the produce department. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about that, but you may notice that, okay, you may notice that people, people are now starting to, like, want to be around you. It's almost like you'll walk into some place in public, and all of a sudden you've got, like, a crowd of people around you, and they may be doing other things, talking to other people, but they have to somehow be close to you. <laughs> You know, what is up with that? It's your energy, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, it may be even a sign for you that new people are going to be coming into your energy soon. Uh, if you haven't already noticed, all right? 
<laughs> you know, I've been, people have been getting my number and stuff like that. It's kind of amazing, you know, all these, these, these cute younger men, like, oh, <laughs> you know, but I mean, I, and I feel like that's what you're starting to do. You're starting to meet new people. You may be starting to open up to meeting new people. You may not date any, any of them right? You're going to use your discernment. You're going to be thinking logically, right? But um, yeah, expect for your love life to start getting kind of busy. Um, and this emperor, I'm telling you, this is that ego death. This is them realizing they have no control. This is defeat. Okay. And this is everything backfiring on this person. Okay, honestly, um, they're, they're losing you, but you know, it's with the way this person's energy is right now, they really don't deserve to be with you. Okay. That's for my feminines. Divine masculine, if this is your energy, um, you may be an emperor energy, but controlling another human being is that's not that's not uh, that's not a loving relationship so i feel like i feel like the masculine in this case still has a lot of lessons to learn and they're learning them okay they're learning them and, and other people around them are starting to learn not to be around this emperor so here's what's going to happen with this emperor this divine masculine um, this Divine Masculine is going to end up alone because they're literally pushing everyone away from them just to try to regain control of everything, okay? Um, you know, the more they want that control, the more people leave from their lives. And that's what's going to happen. They're going to end up alone. They're going to end up feeling defeated. But this is when they start their work. Because they have to be alone and in isolation. Remember, Divine Feminine? They have to be alone and in isolation um, in order for them to truly learn their lessons. Okay, this is a solo dolo journey. So, yeah, um, this particular masculine is just way not ready um, for a light worker uh, to be with an, an earth angel, a divine feminine. And they are so mad. They're mad. They're jealous. They've got a lot of anger. Okay? They're very angry because they're losing control. Okay? They cannot abuse their power anymore because you're not allowing it, Divine Feminine. That's what it is. And that ego, that ego's got to go, all right? It has to get tossed out the window um, before they even start their work on themselves. Yeah, and that was something that they didn't want to confront. See, they don't want to look at their own foolish behavior. They don't want to confront this and have to change. They like having control. This is what they're used to. You know, they would rather, like I said, take it out on everyone else than to have to look at themselves. If they turn around and look at themselves, they'll lose control for sure. They don't want to lose any control here. They don't even have any more control left, but they're trying to fight against that and be stubborn as much as they can. Um, this... This masculine feels wounded because their ego is getting wounded. That's what this is. And um, they may be getting tired, right? They're tiring themselves out with all the fighting and the chaos. I feel like they can't sleep at night. They may be having nightmares. But they're, and they're, they're very jealous and very upset because you're out here single, possibly doing better than they are financially, um, uh, with your work, right, professionally. I feel like you're taking good care of yourself. Look at, 
Um, they're wounded here. They're tired. They're fit. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, tired, fatigued, um, spent because they're, you know, they've got, they've got no control left. Okay. And here you are out here flourishing. You're looking good. I feel like you're, you know, maybe you're healing from something because I wanted to say your health is getting better. Okay. So that's for someone. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, you've transformed yourself. You're probably looking better now than you ever have before, no matter what age you are. Uh, you're walking around in style here. Like, I can see you maybe even, you know, dressing up once in a while just to get, you know, get out of the house and show yourself, right? I feel like, uh, and your, your abundance is, you're very abundant. Your finances are totally straight, okay? Like, your money looks good, Divine Feminine. Your business, your craft, it's paying off. And I feel like um, you have everything that you need here, you know? There's, a, there's something very humble about you as well. But yet at the same time, you've got style and, and it could be, a, you could be different, like dress differently or do something different from everyone else. You're taking good care of yourself and you really are flourishing, okay? But this person, they're going downhill. They're going downhill because, you know, all they wanted was control. Yeah, and I feel like they're just going to, they're going to lose control. They've abused their power. They, they don't know how to treat somebody who um, loves them, okay? And I feel like they're also very upset, very concerned, um, a lot of anxiety, angry, um, because you're single out here. You're single, you're independent, you're financially stable and abundant. You've transformed your life and you're the most, one of the most beautiful cards in the deck here. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. So you're ready for love and this person knows it. They know it. They know it's only a matter of time before you get with someone new. And these new options are already in your energy. You may not see it yet, but you soon will. Okay. Um, let me get your advice, but then I'm going to take this over to Patreon. I'm going to see what kind of action this person is going to take, okay? Let me just get you some oracles first. Um, you could be a Virgo, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is for Divine Feminine side. I've got Aquarius here as well. Maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yeah, Capricorn, Taurus. All right, so what can you show me here? Advice, please, for this Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. Um, yeah, I feel like get ready for whoever this is for. You're about to start something new. You're about to get a wish fulfilled or blessings. Okay, I feel like this never-ending story is in fact coming to an end with a 10. That's an ending to a cycle. Okay, you've made it through an entire journey of sitting here going, will this ever flipping end already. I don't want to feel this pain anymore, right? This is coming to an end. You're breaking free of that. It's like you're saying a final goodbye right here, okay? Yeah, this masculine, I feel like they want to come towards you, all right? This could also be fresh energy, though, too, coming in because you are about to start a new life here. Um, yeah, you're open to receive. You're starting something fresh and new, okay? You're clearing out the old energy. This is you saying that final goodbye. Yep, and you're manifesting new things. Yes, you are. I feel like Divine Feminine, that's your energy. 
I feel like you're masculine. Um, they they want to come in and take more control of the situation, but I feel like somebody new is coming in, Divine Feminine, and there's somebody here who's going to, they're going to be loyal to you. You're about to meet somebody new. This person here from your past, um, I feel like you're leaving, yeah, you're leaving them behind. It's time to go. Yeah, it's time to go, Divine Feminine. And this Divine Masculine, um, they're going to feel very defeated uh, as that ego crashes to the ground, okay? <laughs> they're losing their ego, um, and uh, they're going to have to confront the things that they do, why they treat you this way, you know? If they can get to the root of the problem and heal that, they can someday have a healthy relationship. I'm not so, so sure it's going to be with you, though, Divine Feminine. I got to say, you've got a new, beautiful, loyal love coming to you. Okay? 